Hi, I'm Jim Byers. Welcome to Accelerated from Los Alamitos in Cypress, California. This will be the center of quarter horse racing for the next month or so, starting with the Grade 1 Million Dollar Super Derby on November 10th. That's our focus on this edition. And it's one of the most anticipated derbies in recent memory. Going in, it certainly looks like a battle between 2018 champion two-year-old Flash and Roll and the streaking powerful favorite. But the ever-reliable A-Political Pence and a few others might have something to say about that. The Monte Rosa trained A-Political Pence has frequently knocked heads competitively with the top two. Winner of this spring's Heritage Place Derby at Remington Park, A-Political Pence has spent the bulk of his career with the Rosa at Los Al. For just this year, he's logged three wins and three seconds and six starts. Jesus Ayala rides at 6-1. to one. Powerful favorite could give trainer Chris O'Dell a win in a million-dollar race for the second week in a row. Powerful favorite's full brother, run for your life, took home the Golden State Million Futurity at Los Al. As for powerful favorite, he's 7-for-7 seven seven this season, including wins in the Los Alamitos Winter Derby, El Primero del Año Derby, and Governor's Cup. Winner of his October 19th trial in the third fastest time, powerful favorite is again ridden by Eduardo Nicasio and is the even money public choice. Flash and Roll parlayed wins in last year's Golden State and Los Al 2 million futurities into the AQHA two-year-old championship. Trained by Justin Joyner, Flash and Roll spent the summer at Ruidoso Downs with mixed results, but did qualify for the All-American Derby. Back home at Los Al, where she's never lost in five tries, she drew off to a massive trial win with the fastest time. In the Super Derby, Cody Jensen is aboard at 3-2. And away they go in the Los Alamitos Super Derby, and coming away well is a political pence and powerful favor. Now Flash and Roll begins to run on as well. Bail check to the extreme outside, and here's the big matchup. Powerful favorite and Flash and Roll. They're going nose to nose, and a political pence is also right there. Flash and roll, powerful favorite, powerful favorite, flash and roll, flash and roll. Cody Jensen, last year's champion, Chios, never lost here at Los Alamitos. What a matchup as flash and roll toward the inside and powerful favorite duel for most of the 400 yards after edging past the quick-breaking apolitical pence. At the wire, flash and roll, with just moderate left-handed encouragement from Cody Jensen, prevails by a neck and gains a spot in the champion of champions. Jensen describes the race from his perch. Well, I got away extremely well. I mean, I thought I'd have the good jump on everybody, and when we hit the ground the first time, he was right next to me, and then the dogfight was on, and it was a battle from the first jump to the last jump. It's the type of horse races you want to be in, even if you come out on the right end or the wrong end. It's just the type two great horses that hook up right from the first jump to the last jump. Those are the exciting ones. Last year, this filly provided G.R. Carter with a win in his last ride. You're a veteran rider as well. Looks like this filly gets along with uh, you veteran riders. She's easy in one sense because you don't got to do a whole lot to her, but she's really, really hard to ride. She runs with her head high. You got to throw her a lot of rain. Um, she's really wound up, high strung filly. She's hard to get to relax. She really enjoys her job in the mornings and on race day. So, you know, maybe, maybe me and Jar with a little bit more experience, maybe we've learned how to just get along with a temperamental filly like that. But she's. Once the gate's open, she's awesome because you don't have got to do a whole lot but point her in the right direction. A California-bred daughter of first moon flash from the grade one winner stylish Jess B.R. Flash and Roll was bred by Juliana Hahn Holt and is owned by Scott Bryant. Trainer Justin Joyner said if all goes well with his champion Philly, he has no hesitation about taking on veterans and the champion of champions. Oh, I'm, I'm sure we'll compete. I mean, it, she's, she's a very competitive Philly out here. Um, I mean, you just look at her times versus their times, so I think we've got a shot to to compete. At distance doesn't bother her, so I think, you know, 440 yards is going to be just fine also. And, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not scared of those older horses. They do have a little seasoning, but for a filly like her who kind of does everything right anyways, I don't have to worry about, you know, really, well, I hope she gets out of the gates. I hope this happens. I hope that happens. So... I think if we can go run against them and, you know, we'll just see how it pans out. She's met all the challenges basically so far. I guess that would be, you know, one more challenge to meet is to take on some of those uh, older horses. Well, absolutely. I think she's earned the right to, to try, you know, and then, uh, you know, we'll see after that. She probably earned a break and, 
uh, you know, she's as sound as they come, so she makes my job pretty easy, really. Bryant spent $200,000 on flash and roll at the Ruidoso Select Yearling Sale in 2017. With six Los Alamitos victories, three of them in races featuring seven-figure purses, it turns out to be a great purchase. Now with 10 wins and 13 tries, and on course to take on B.H. Lisa's boy and others in the December 14th Champion of Champions, Flash and Roll completes the 400 yards in 19.516 seconds.